Hi everybody. Uh, welcome to today's topic on experience uh, experience series, which is packaging to elevate your nominal advisory fees. A little intro about myself, uh, Dallas Hassan. I was here earlier uh, last week on asset protection as well. Thank you for your raving response. And today I'm here to share with you about the subject matter packaging in real estate. All right. Okay. I'm uh, uh, a little brief about myself. I'm someone who started off in 06, uh, 2000, uh, 2006, and uh, I'm someone who didn't have the courage or uh, didn't have the courage or uh, uh, find it a necessity to take exclusive then. But over time, I realized that through practice and fine tuning, I come up with a course of such nature, packaging to elevate your uh, nominal advisory fees. So along the way, uh, if, you find, if you find yourself similar to my stand when I started off, you can pick it up using this method, all right? Outline on the course. What is packaging all about? How it impacts sales and growth? How to build your brand? How to position yourself as a consultant to package and better your income standings are some of, some of those briefs that we'll be going through for the next half an hour. What is packaging, by the way? Pag packaging is the transfer of both real and personal property. An example, the sale of a home with the inventory, for example, furniture, uh, items that are coming along with, or even for that matter, even for the matter, uh, coming up with, a, coming up with a, a unit for sale, a residential property for sale, and I package that with a, a anchor tenant in my unit in general is putting together a group of product to be sold together perhaps at a discounted price because several items are brought in in combination is it important oh yes 95 percent of new products generally fail the reason is simple most customers don't have the time energy to weigh the pros and cons of each product in their shopping cart so to cut short they make their decision and that shortcut is the product's packaging. I'll give you an example. Tiffany & Co. What comes to your mind when you see Tiffany & Co? Does it, if, uh, 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 assuming you're going to get a present for your, for your loved one, what comes to your mind? Is it the, the pendant? Is it the chain? Is it the earring? That the first thing that when I mention about Tiffany & Co uh, are, the, are, the, are the accessories that comes with Tiffany and Co name, or immediately the Robin Blue box that you see in the screen right now. It's the forget me, not box, right? Yeah. So such is the nature of packaging. Immediately, it resonates to an image that has already been saved in your mind. Further examples. Packaging is also powerful because it tells consumers why your product and brand is so different. Why is it so unique? For example, MacBook Pro. For example, the, the uh, Toblerone chocolate. For example, the Campbell's uh, tomato soup. What comes to your mind? Immediately, the packaging. So there's more than meets the eye than just packaging. It's the image that it creates. So packaging is powerful because it tells consumers why your product and brand is so different among the others. So how packaging impacts sales and growth? Is packaging... Uh, how, how is it going to affect me in, in, my, in my sales or growth? Well, we proceed further. Packaging protects the product. Assuming we have uh, an item, uh, a fragile item, for example, you package the product, you secure the product, and by the time it reaches your consumer, by the time he brings it back home, the item is protected. If the item is damaged, are we going to have recurring customers? Is the consumer, are the consumers going to be uh, thankful for how you package? Think about it. Packaging draws attention. Package, packaging is the first thing that customer notice. It grabs the attention, highlights the product's value often more than sales because of how much attention it receives. Imagine those things in the shell life, which draws your attention as compared to a product versus something which is in a nicely uh, packaged uh, item. 
Thirdly, integrity, quality, legitimacy of products are generally portrayed in quality of their packaging. Can you imagine the Coca-Cola bottle? It comes in a slender shape. How about McDonald's? It's back, huh? The Happy Meal. The, the a la carte, how are they packaging? The value meal, how are they packaging? Okay, when a packaging is attractive, of good integrity, and it, com and it communicates an appealing, unbelievable value proposition to prospective buyers, the product it represents usually sell more often. Through what? Packaging. Packaging informs prospective buyers. Consumers generally appreciate companies who place messages and uh, detailing uh, and other facts and in valuable information on the packaging itself. If, if the product packaging is precise, trustworthy information is, is, is given and the awareness of what they are buying make the consumers feel comfortable, convenient, and the product will be a bestseller uh, 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 among all the variety of products that a vendor displays. A good packaging, many consumers prefer to purchase products that look pretty when displayed. Just like the saying goes, uh, don't judge a book by its cover, but it works very inversely for packaging. When the product packaging is, is pretty, when displayed, consumers take it even better. It, it, it subscribes more to the consumers. When companies present good looks and favorable values on packaging, the consumers will sometimes spend a little more money to buy that, those products from them. So how to build your brand? A smaller segment on branding on packaging. Packaging allows your brand to speak even before the product does. The branding on the packaging allows you to stand out amidst your competition. It allows you to uh, position uh, within your demographic. For example, brands like Daiso, brands like uh, uh, IKEA, they are not afraid to go bold on their colors in this place and their packaging, branding on packaging. Customers are willing to pay more for original packaging. Most of the customers uh, make the purchase immediately within a few seconds based on packaging itself on relative products on similar products hey i i see uh, i'm looking for this particular product and we have a variety when i see this product and it is with the packaging amidst the others i prefer to take it more seriously packaging allow products to look even more chic and personalized an inexpensive solution that gives them a high-end high feel, All right? Like, for example, over here, the packaging can be in bows on simple colors in muted colors with stylish typography. It is still packaging. And it also helps in recurring customers thanks to premium packaging. It allows to, keep, uh, it allows to make new friends, new network of uh, 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 business, and also cherish the old ones. Premium packaging enhances the experience, as well as increase the memorability of the brand. Therefore, it helps both gain new customers, like I said, cherish the current ones. But basically, your purchase is not the end of making a sale, or at least it shouldn't be recurring customers. So that much being said about packaging, You'd be, you'd be thinking, how, how does this resonate well with uh, our real estate industry? How to position yourself as a real estate consultant to package better in your income standing? I don't see the connection over here. Packaging, yes, there is packaging. It can work well for retail products. How does it work well for real estate? I'll cover where you can utilize packaging. In perspective, our packaging can be utilized in real, est real estate. Some of the recommended where packaging can be utilized. For example, in a property sales, packaging, using packaging, you can sell a unit with the, with, with the inventory list. Let's say I'm, I'm having this expensive couch, uh, this OSIM chair, and this uh, big fish tank. All these are coming together with a unit. 
I, I did this uh, uh, concept of, uh, uh, I, did con I did this with a theme, with this product, with this, with this unit, I'm selling it with the furniture and items for this uh, unit. Another, another, another way would be, another example would be, uh, if let's say uh, a unit is way below market price, for example, at least about 100, 150K, how else can you package the unit to be sold? You can always tell your customers if there's a big polarity in the selling price and the and the valuation for some reason, you can also say, Mr. Buyer, if you are able to purchase this unit, for example, there may be means for you to actually get back more cash. Here's how you'll be able to do so. Example, using equity term loan. More will be shared later if time permits. Example number two, property leasing. If I'm leasing uh, my unit, and I'm saying that if you lease, uh, dear landlord, if you are leasing for, if you are leasing with me for the next one year, it's six thousand dollars every month. But for some reason, for two years, my landlord actually allows you to get the same unit at five thousand dollars if you are able to take it at two years. Packaging. And coming to the highlight of this whole sharing in experience series is the property listing presentation and this is how i'm going to inculcate packaging into my presentation before going further into packaging in presentation let's go through how my flowchart of uh, presentation would be a brief of what i do in my listing presentation i break the ice i build a common denominator i like their likes so that i'll be able to see where they stand and where do I stand? I need to build a bridge. Secondly, I'll do a why analysis. Why, what, is, what is the reason for them to sell the property? Is there any uh, mitigating reasons? Why must, why must they be selling this property? Is it because I need to upgrade? Is it because of I want to decouple? Is it because I want to upgrade to a bigger unit? Is it because, uh, is it because I'm, I'm going to save up for my uh, son's education, so I need the cash? What is the why? The why analysis. Thirdly, finance and asset planning. I covered this in my previous uh, asset protection earlier. Fourthly, recommendation and timeline. And finally, and most importantly, closing with packaging. This is where my focus would be. I give you a brief in a bit. At the end of at the at the end of my presentation, this is how my packaging will be. If you take note, there are three uh, there are three uh, three dimension. One is light, one is brunch, one is buffet. Why I call them light, brunch, and buffet because it's easy to remember when I connect them with food. So and food and uh, ordering preferences. So the light being like the a la carte. The brunch being the best of both worlds. And the buffet will be the gorilla marketing technique, a full suit, okay? And the components for my presentation will entail marketing, cost centers, and concierge. Let me go through one by one. Firstly, the light, uh, uh, the light packaging. If consumers, if the vendor is going to take up my service and he's going with the light package, which is worth about five thousand over dollars. I'll give him all the digital marketing platforms to position his property. For the call centers, I'll give him a full home report. And for the concierge, I'll be doing all the lising and arrangement. Most likely, I may not even be going personally to do the the lising and arrangement. Secondly, the branch, goodness of both worlds. For the marketing, I'll be including all the major portals. And it also includes sponsored ads, for example, in social media like Instagram or Facebook. For cost centers, I will include a full home report. If it is a HDB property, I may also include their admin and valuation. Maybe we're wondering what, uh, what valuation I'm talking about. I, I may even uh, include the valuation for the buyer who's purchasing this property to make it even more sweeter. 
and for the call centers or the branch, I would also include GSE absorbed. Take note, the budget that I'm giving is worth about 7K. And the concierge, licensing, arrangements, physical viewing, assist and a company staff to law firm and all the other ministries, for example, CPF board, HDB, or uh, uh, the other relevant departments. And finally, to the buffet, uh, to the buffet package where I include the full suit of guerrilla marketing technique, I'll include all the major portals, sponsored ads, video ads, call centers, full home report, admin valuation, repeated. What is so different about uh, uh, in the call center is the shifting. I will allow for the first shifting of the vendor. For the concierge, I will arrange for all. I will arrange for all the licensing arrangement. I'll conduct physical viewing myself. And I will also include an, an assistant or a PA to, uh, to, with my client to assist them with each of the places that they are going to go with me or without me. So this is how I segment and tell the customer that I'm able to deliver according to what is required. And this allows me to stand out as a consultant. Why? Because I am telling my client indirectly that one size doesn't fit all. For some reason, if the house is beautiful, do you think they need to go with the buffet spread, uh, buffet, buffet style packaging? Not really. The house can sell by itself. Probably I would recommend them to go with the light package, something which is more befitting for that subject property. If, let's say, for some reason, they prefer uh, the unit is really run down and there's a lot more activities that need to be done, a lot more uh, uh, things and effort that needs to be done. For example, mocking up the whole home, uh, uh, scaling up on the outlook of the whole unit. Maybe I'll recommend them go for the buffet package. So like I said, it really depends on the client. I give them a choice when I go for my listing presentation. And I'm not saying that I will just stick to 2% and that is, that is my uh, that is my minimum sum. I'm telling them that you have a variety. If you notice, I didn't even include what percentage I'm going to charge for each of it. I'm leaving this to you guys, all right? So you can position yourself. You can put it 0.5%, 1%, or 2%. It doesn't matter. But my subject matter here is packaging, how to position yourself using packaging and closing the listing while giving more choices to your client. So how does that turn up in numbers? Maybe we should take a look. I use residential property as an example, and I'll be able to share more. Next. This is how it looks when packaging is done to our overall receivables. Firstly, I use the HDB. Both are residential properties, HDB and a private, uh, private property. Okay, with packaging for the nominal fee, I will, I will call them the normal fee versus my light versus my branch versus my buffet. This is for a real estate consultant to see how it affects. Okay, with packaging, if it's a nominal and it's a it's a it's a 500 k value of house, I'll be charging close to about 10k. All right, which is about close to two percent. If it is the branch, remember I said uh, branch I'll be including GST. So it will be about 12,500. So without the GST, after, after making payment for the GST, I will be getting at about 11,682. Likewise for the buffet package, which I'll be charging about $15,000. And after deducting for GST, it will be about 14, 14 odd K. So if you realize without the packaging and with the packaging, Without packaging, it is about nearly $10,000 for all. But with my packaging, I can give a variety. This is just an example. There's no right, no wrong answer. It's how you want to position yourself with your respective packages. But this can be an example where you can customize your presentation so that at the end, you will be able to deliver and cater to your customers' requirements better. Okay? Again, you can also... You can also use the same example for private. 
with packaging, without packaging, recall for private, we will also be sharing our ad advisory fees with our co-broke agent, 8.5% or 1% or even more. All right, with packaging, I'm able to charge a million dollar property at about nearly $20,000. Without packaging, it will be the same. It's a nominal fee, okay? But if I'm going to go with my brunch package, it will be $25,000. With my buffet package, it will be $30,000. Bear in mind, I'm still willing to give my co-broke agent their share. That's market practice, all right? So this is how the numbers ring up to. So using packaging, I'm able to display to you what is the different advisory fees you will be collecting, but not neglecting what are the things that you also give to your clients, which is in my earlier slide here. All this will be made available by Orange T's uh, learning department. So uh, just focus on the slides that I'm sharing right now. Next. So what happens if we include packaging into presentation? We look more organized and cater to customers' need accordingly. Customized marketing plan. Better returns to business than without packaging, as you've seen earlier. We are more transparent to consumers and it builds trust as we show them what they are getting for what they are paying. It positions you as a consultant, then a salesperson who gives a one size fit all approach. 2%, 2%. No. You can give it to them according to what they require. All right? It brands you as a systematic agent among customer circle. So, are we ready for action, Orange T? Here we are. Go back to your listing and do a packaging. Even if you have already done your listing presentation, go back and do a repackaging. Start your next listing presentation with a packaging. Organize yourself when negotiating through packaging. Win more deals, more win more deals looking more professional using packaging. And finally, those more deals using packaging to the advantage of yourself and your clients alike. I hope this segment on the experience sharing on packaging in real estate will be helpful for you and you can create more dimension in your real estate business using packaging. I hope this has been helpful for you and uh, you, can, you, can, you can develop your uh, next presentation or packaging session with your clients and other lines of business. All right, thank you so much for having here. If you have any queries, please jot down your queries to learning at Uh Thank you so much for, uh, uh, for, for coming over to hear the experience series. I hope we will be able to give you more and achieve more together. Stay safe, stay stuck, stay charged. Dallas, thank you. <laughs>